All right, uh, 5.3, exploring trig ratios for angles greater than 90. Okay, so mostly everything we've been doing is for uh, 90 degrees or less, hence our right angle triangles. Um, but we could also work with angles that are greater than 90. Okay, so kind of an introduction. Um, so on a Cartesian plane, we have here, okay? So first key point here is this positive one. So positive x, positive y, we call quadrant one. And then we count uh, counterclockwise for the next quadrants. So we have quadrant one here, then we have quadrant two, quadrant three, and then quadrant four. Okay, you should learn, have learned that already, but if not, um, this is how we count them. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Okay, always counterclockwise. Okay, so we could place triangles or angles on this Cartesian plane. So when we start here, we start here at the x-axis, this is zero degrees, and then we count, we go counterclockwise. When we go counterclockwise, when we reach this arm here, this becomes a 90 degree angle. Okay, so this is 90 degrees if we were counting this way. So we go from zero to 90, then we keep going, we go here, now there's a flat line, so this would be 180 degrees. If we keep going, we hit the, the third arm. Sorry, so we have 90, 180, now we're down to 270. And then when we go back to the starting point, we've made we've completed a full circle, and a full circle is 360 degrees. Okay, so zero degrees, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Okay, so meaning that all the angles between 0 and 90 are in this quadrant. All angles between 90 and 180 are in this quadrant. 180 to 70 here, and 270 to 360 here. Okay, so a couple of terms that we need to know. When we're drawing the angle, depending on whatever quadrant we're in, the angle that is between the x-axis and the next arm, which is called the terminal arm, um, is a theta. Okay, sorry, so this is a called our principal angle. Okay, so from we count the angle from the initial arm, which is the x-axis, and we, we count counterclockwise until we hit the terminal arm. Um, so the angle in between there is called our principal angle. But once we get out of quadrant one, we end up creating two angles. Okay, so you can read these as you go. So an angle measured from the initial arm to the terminal arm is called theta or the principal angle. But once we start moving into different quadrants, we end up adding, we, we end up creating two angles. So one angle, which is from the initial arm. So our initial arm. So say we go counterclockwise, say we have 135 degrees. So this would end in this quadrant. So this is still our principal angle here. But now we create a, another angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis on the negative side. And this we use is this B, which is beta. So this is beta. And we call this angle the related acute angle. So outside of the quadrant one, so quadrant two, three, and four, we have two angles. We have the principal angle and we have the related acute angle, which is beta. Okay, and then if we were to go over here, we would have the principal angle all the way to this side, and then we would have a related acute angle here. Okay, so angle of theta is called principal angle. It's anywhere between zero and 360, and a related acute angle, which is beta, is any angle between zero and 90. Okay, so for example, if the, um, if the related acute angle is 120 degrees, we take that away from 80, and we get our beta angle of 60 degrees. Okay, if by chance you ever see a negative angle, we're going to count clockwise. So say we had an angle of negative 60 degrees, then we would count clockwise. So a negative 60 degree angle would go this way. So from here to here, is 60 degrees. The negative just tells you which way to move the arm. Okay, so that would tell you to move to, uh, 
clockwise. All positive ones, we go counterclockwise. Okay, I just wanted to give you a couple examples. Give me one second. Okay, so some of the examples you see in the homework are they say, uh, write the, or draw the principal angle and the related acute angle. So let's do an example for, um, so let's do for 135 degrees, okay? So it says sketch the angles and find the related acute angle. So if we were to draw this, Cartesian planes, again, 0, 90, 180 to 70. I'm just gonna do a rough sketch. So 135 is in between 90 and 180. So somewhere here. Okay, so the angle 135 goes from the initial arm to the terminal arm. And this would be 135 degrees, which is our theta. Okay, so if they ask you to find now the related acute angle, so the related acute angle is here. So it creates an angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So if this whole, if it, from x-axis to the x-axis is 180, and from here to here is 135, then we could subtract these two to find the related acute. So it'd be 180 degrees, subtract 135 degrees, which would give you an angle of 45. And that would be our beta. Okay, let's do another example. So let's say they ask us for, they give us a theta of 240 degrees and they want you to find the beta or the related acute angle. So 240 degrees is now in this quadrant because that's between 180 and 270. So we'll draw our arm here. So we have a, from our initial arm to our terminal arm, is 240 degrees. Now they say find the beta and be careful here because a lot of people do this incorrectly. The beta is always between the terminal arm and the x-axis, never the y-axis. So our beta is between the x-axis and the terminal arm. Okay, so here x-axis terminal arm, here x-axis and terminal arm. So our beta is going to be this smaller angle here. Do not draw it to the y-axis. So if this whole angle from here to here is 240, and we only want to find this one, so this is all 240, and then from here to here is 280, or sorry, 180, then we can subtract them and find our related acute angle or beta. So beta in this case would be 240 degrees, minus 180 degrees, which would give you 60 degrees. Okay, let's do two more. Um, if I were to give you, say, negative 30 degrees. So negative means count clockwise. So we're gonna count this way instead. So 30 degrees. So this would be 30 degrees. Okay, we don't have to put the negative. Negative just tells you which way to move. Okay, so this becomes our beta because it's between our initial arm, sorry, our x-axis and terminal arm. Okay, so we find the theta now. So theta, again, goes from the initial arm counterclockwise all the way to the terminal arm. So if we did a full circle, it'd be 360 degrees, but we're not doing a full circle, we're doing up to here. So 360 subtract 30. So that would give you 330 degrees as our theta. Okay, last one. Let's give you another example. So say we had one here and we had a 40 degrees here, okay? So this, again, between the x-axis and the terminal arm is our beta, okay? So anytime it's in quadrant two, three, or four, 
the angle between the x-axis and the terminal arm is beta. If it's in quadrant one, it's just our, our theta, but any other quadrant, we have two angles. Okay, so that's 40, so we have to find our theta now. So it'd be 180, subtract 40, which gives you 140 degrees. Okay, so if you were to actually punch these into your calculator, let me show you. So say we were doing the sine. If you do punch in sine of 135, you're gonna get an answer. If you punch in sine of 45, you're actually gonna get the same number. So if you do sine 135 and sine 45, you'll actually come up with the same number. Okay, one may be positive, one may be negative. That's for the next lesson. But if you, just to check, if you punch these into your calculator, maybe I'm gonna show you. So if I do sine of, what we say, 135, we get 0 0.707. Okay, so just to show you that our beta is 45, we should come up with 0 0.707. So if I clear this out, if I do sine of 45 now, I get same number, 0 0.707, okay? So um, you get the same answer if you punch in the calculator and that's how you'll be able to check. Okay, that is the lesson today. This is actually a very, very important lesson um, in order to get into the next lesson. And this, we do a ton of these in grade 12. So make sure you stay on top of this and ask any questions you don't understand. Okay, the homework is just this one question, 292 number four. Okay, hope everyone is well. Take care. Bye.